Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Extreme Builds the Old Naval College. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. And I'm actually joined today by one of my special projects group, a Patreon and part of the Space, en space Engineers group, uh, Ixia, who's somewhere, uh, somewhere on the interwebs. Currently lost at Google. There you go, currently lost in Google, or at Google. So what do you say? Hang on. Is it in Google or at Google? Because Google's a, pl a place... Mm. There you go. Questions to be answered after after the video. It's a search engine and a location. So do you get lost at Google or do you get lost in Google? These are the questions that plague my mind. Anyway, uh, what we're trying to do right now is we're actually trying to get Exia on uh, because Patreons are going to be joining me. Now, we've already managed to get one in. Exia just seems to be having some some issues getting in. I think he, he gets in and then it just sorts of sort of boots him off uh, a few millis... Is it about a few milliseconds, isn't it? I think it's about a few milliseconds later. It, it seems to boot him off, so... We're just trying to work out what's going on and hopefully get him in. But anyway, uh, right now I am digging up some ground, as you guys can see. And uh, the reason I'm digging up this ground is because this is the next stage forward or the next step forward on the build. How far ahead am I going? And uh, we've actually, I had a stream on Saturday and we did get quite a fair amount done. Uh, obviously things are now going to accelerate with with Patreons in. And I'm going to show you exactly what I've managed to get done since Saturday. And uh, a lot of digging out. There's been a lot of digging. There's been a lot of um, uh, lots of placing things, lots of measurements, lots of uh, just planning things out and getting things in the correct place. So this video is going to be showing all of that and of course uh, how you guys can get involved. Currently I've got uh, two Patreons that will be involved, Exia being one of them, if he can get in, and the other being Mr. Leo. I think there may be a third. Um, special projects are invited as well, so you never know. You might see Snaggles on board uh, with this. That would be interesting. Do you know if Snaggles has... Exia, do you know if Snaggles has got Minecraft? Uh, I don't know. I can send him a message on Discord later. Yeah, might have to might have to ask him if he's got Minecraft. Uh, we've got Leo, one of my patrons, who's going to be joining me as well. Uh, he's very good with command blocks, but I don't think he's ever had to use chisels and bits before, so that's going to be interesting. And we're really going to do a lot of stuff. A lot of great stuff is coming up for you guys. By the way, if it sounds like I've got a block nose, I do have a block nose. I'm not sure why. More so than a block nose, I've actually got a sore throat. Uh, and I think that may be what's... That's not helping at all. Uh, occupational hazard, I guess. Lots of talking over a day. Lots of talking on videos. You're bound to lose your voice. It just... It happens. So, yeah. But anyway, we've got most of this area cleaned up, I think. Yeah, we've got pretty much all of it cleaned up. And this is actually going to be the road. So this area here is the road that's going to split uh, what's known as a Queen's House. I think it's a museum, a gallery. And that splits from the old college and uh, all the naval buildings over here. So that is the road that's going to split it. As you can see, I've made some markings. We're going to have a, we're going to have a smallish road. Not completely to scale. We're going to have a uh, a two meter pavement, which actually isn't. It's a six foot pavement. Um, was it six foot pavement? Six, six and a half foot pavement on either side. So we've got six and a half feet there, six and a half feet there, followed by a six meter length of road, which won't actually be this, but that's just a six meter length of road, which, uh, if you want to convert that to feet, is what. Um, I think we're talking about 20, 21 feet, I think, or 20, 20 feet. So we've got 20, 20 foot of road, 
which is which is pretty wide. Uh, I'm going to pop in another one of these here, and then I'll show you the rest of the build. Well, let's see what's going on. There we go. Thank you everybody who's been watching these builds, by the way, either on YouTube or on uh, on Twitch. I, I know I've had some people pop along on Twitch and say, yeah, we really, really enjoyed the build and been watching and uh, seeing what we've got and seeing how far we've come. So there's the road. And as you can see, we've got lots and lots of uh, markings now out here. As a matter of fact, there is another area that I need to get rid of, which I'm going to do right now, which is this area here. There we go. This area needs to go. And that should open up the entire rest. Now, with this, I have been trying to look at scale and trying to work things out from scale. And it's got a little bit odd. Um, but I think I've still got the right scale. It's just difficult to actually work out. So one of the changes that I've made since last time, and you can see that this change is still actually being uh, actually being done. So we'll, we'll stop. Shall I start with doing the changes here right now? Uh, how am I going to do this? No, I'll probably end up doing those changes on stream. But as you can see, I've changed these blocks out for these lighter colored blocks. And I was looking at the actual pattern and this seems to be a better block. That being said, I would like to somehow manage to change these uh, into a different color. So we are going to have a look right now for... Maybe, right, first things first, is we need to get rid of stuff. Uh, go away. Go away. Go away. We don't need any of this. So we're going to do that. We're going to move that there, move that there, move the sandstone across there, move the grass block there, water block can go there, limestone can go there, diamond chisel can go there, eggs can go in the bin. Um... That limestone can stay. White concrete there. You there. You there. You two go there. And then that chisel goes up there. That's better. Okay, that looks a little bit more clean. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab uh, a few items. And we're going to try it out. One of them I want is polished granite. Uh, I know it doesn't look great. But it will look better soon. In fact, we're going to go to building blocks. Because that's where we're going to look. Uh, what do we have? I also just want to see what the bricks look like. Just um, out of curiosity. In fact, if I search bricks, what do we... What do we get? What kind of bricks do we have? We have slabs, stone bricks, actual bricks. Ooh, we have all these bricks as well. Small, vengeful stone bricks. Blood magic. Okay. Exia, that sounds like a bad idea. What does? Sorry, small, I small destructive stone bricks, blood magic. That sounds like that could go very badly. I can make a blood altar. Let's not do that. Oh, you don't want to bleed on it? No. Right. Let's uh, place one of those down. I want to place one of this down. Oh, these bricks look a little bit too. Actually, that, that's not too bad. That's not too bad on a brick texture. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change this to single bit. Take a bit out of that. Like so. And remove that. And I'm going to take a bit out of that. Nope, that's not done what I wanted it to do. I've got to take a bit out first. There we go. And then get rid of that. Okay. So with the bricks, with this, I want to see what happens. Uh, there's a question is, having bricks like that... See, that's too far out. That is just too far out. Having bricks in that fashion is just not going to help. I wish it wasn't that far out.
Yeah, it's just, it doesn't look. I mean, I guess we could do it every now and then. We could do it every now and then. Anyway, let's get rid of those. Let's place, right, single bit. This is what I want to do. I'm going to stick this limestone down. Stick this limestone down. Stick that one down. Right, so we've got these disordered tiles. I am going to take this and break a few of these. And I genuinely don't know what this is going to look like when it's done. Uh, but if this works, it's really going to be pretty cool. And this is the kind of stuff you can expect on stream, by the way, so, you know, if you're interested in the streams, this is the kind of stuff you will expect. Extreme detail, all the way through, start to finish, hopefully without block noses. Okay, now what we do... Hello. And this is something Leo mentioned, he said maybe we need a bit more colouring, and I do agree that colour is required, but these things don't have that much colour. However, looking at the ground, the ground did have colour, and that's exactly what I'm trying to add. Uh, nope. Oh look, Exia joined the game. Please don't say Exia left the game in a few seconds. Might say it. I'm still waiting for it. it. Sorry. And Aww. he's left again. And we thought it was going so well. I was even longer than I usually am. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. We're definitely getting somewhere. We just don't know what's going on. So, did what did you change there? Here. Can you hear me? Uh, yep, yeah, I can hear you. I was oh, going to say, right what did in, you change there? I'm in command prompt trying to force change it. Um, the next step will be to put in registries, and that usually doesn't end. Why can't you change? It? Why can't you change it outside of it? Uh, because Windows 10 doesn't recognize it. It ha You're has it. It has it labeled as a local network. You're kidding. Okay, for those of you who are watching that wonder why I don't like Windows 10, here is a prime example. Windows 7 picked up on this very easily, allowed, allowed me to fix it pretty quickly. Windows 10 clearly seems to be unhappy with such ideas. You know what? This is actually starting to look quite good. Now I'm going to actually put in some normal granite. Oh gosh, I'm not putting in normal granite. That's horrendous. Who uses normal granite for anything? I use it when I'm a poor man in regular Minecraft. Uh, yeah, there's a... Uh... Wait, how do you polish it in normal Minecraft? Do you just stick it in a furnace? Yep. Yeah. So it's basically smooth stone with a granite, but they call it polished. Interesting. Now I'm looking for something that might be a little bit purpley. Let's see. Nether brick. No, nether brick's too purple. I had the thought, I dismissed the thought. Red sandstone's too orange. Purple pillars? Purple? I've never used a purple block. Uh, now I know why I won't ever use a purple block. My word. Uh, 
Brimstone, permafrost, no. Polished red sandstone, no. Terracotta, bark, no. Spruce wood that's been carved, no. I actually can't find the colour I want. That's annoying. Um, let's try mycelium. What does mycelium look like? Ooh. I like mycelium. I think I may have found the one I want. How long has this video been going on for? About 16 minutes already. That's not bad. As I said, it's uh, this is this is what we do on stream. So if you want to join me on stream, make sure you're following me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash EC Gadget. That's kind of got a bit more colour. It's just not... The colours are too vivid. They're just too bright, I think. Hmm. Well, if any of you have suggestions, leave it in the comments box, please. Because I'm guessing you lot will have a load of suggestions that, you know, I just don't... I don't know of. Should I change this entire block, this block here? Yeah, why not? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What if I put this into replace mode? <sighs> I forgot that this had a replace mode. So I've been destroying... I've been destroying it all this time and then replacing them when I could have just replaced them once. Well done, me. Now, does that look more like... I mean, what I'm going to do... Hmm. Let me... Let me keep these three... Get rid of you. Don't need you. In fact, I don't need the bricks one either. I'll keep you two. Let's grab you, you, and you. We're going to do this one row. Or two rows, as it were. And I'll put the fourth one in as well. see what we've got um, ah first first thing we've done is I've made a mistake I need this part to be as it is any luck Ixia if he's still there I'm still here hey you still there no luck I'm about to change the gateway here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to random places pop these in. Okay. And then I'll place these in random places.
and then I'll place these in random places. I can hear some lava. What happened? Um, I'm fixing it. Have you somehow managed to get 42? Uh. You found the ultimate answer. Uh, no, I haven't. Now, nah, lost. Okay, that color looks better, but it's too bright. But it's good. And I wonder, do these work rotationally? So if I grab that and I go... Which one is it? It is... Uh, this? this one? No? Hold on. It's that one. Swing that around like that. I suppose if we use rotations, it's even better. Oh, but it's still too bright. Well, I'm going to leave that one up to you guys. You guys can decide whether that's any good. Uh, for now, to end this video off, I'm actually going to show you the rest of the stuff that's happened. So, as you can... Let's finish this off first. There we go. Um, as you can see, we've got this whole area sort of started to be dug out, and we've got borders and things going in. That's for the last two buildings there. I showed you the road on this side. On this side, we've got another area. This is going to be a green. We're going to have trees along there. We're going to have two pathways going through, a fountain in the middle just there. And it's going to look really superb. Obviously, that lava, that lava pit is going to disappear. Should I push that chicken into the lava pit? Uh, anyone fancy a Kentucky Fried Chicken? Or in this case, a Greenwich Fried Chicken. Uh, so we're going to sort all of that out. That's actually one of the priorities because it's going to give us a better sense of scope and scale on this build here. Uh, of course, the pillars are also a massive priority. I want to get that sorted as quickly as I can. As I said in the last video, these parts of the pillars, fine. These parts of the pillars, problems. So we need to fix that. Uh, everything else on this side is fine. But if you look at the river, you can see I've started working on the river. And would you take a look at that? That is now... As you can see, we're still working on it, but that so far is not the entire width of the River Thames in real life at this point. This is 200 meters. This is two thirds of the width of the actual river. And if we change the field of view to something a little bit more what you would get on a camera, maybe, maybe 32. That looks far more realistic on the river uh, hang on on the river looking at that build and you're going to have all the builds there and that's the idea that's that's what we're looking to do so we've got this river underway both sides are going to be curved as it should be still going to extend lots to still take down and actually now that we look at it from this sort of field of view the sense of scale on this is far more extreme. That's a far more extreme sense of scale. Now it actually looks, as you're walking along, it actually looks like a massive build that you're very close to and it's very large, which is exactly as we need it to be looking. So all of this is starting to look really really nice anyway that's where i'm going to end it as the sun goes down um how should we take what should we take as a screenshot i feel like that's a pretty good screenshot to take maybe from a slightly higher angle like that 
as you can see some of the progress being made i'll take that thank you very much for watching please remember to hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to the channel for more videos on uh, minecraft extreme builds and of course make sure you're following me on twitch uh, at ec gadget so twitch.tv slash ec gadget to make sure you catch these on stream with patreons if you want to be a part of the build series please do consider supporting me on patreon uh, reward tier 2 is where you can get access to the bills uh, so please do consider that if you are uh, interested and can do so also you can follow me on um, on twitter and instagram that's at ec gadget lp that again that's ec gadget lp for both twitter and instagram that's all from me and i'll see you guys next time in minecraft extreme builds hopefully on stream, but if not on stream, in the next update video.